How are you looking squad-wise then? Yeah, we're all right, I think. Um, we've only trained Tuesday, but uh, there's nothing, nothing there that is causing us a problem, I don't think. Or will cause us a problem for Sunday. Gerard, fine. He's progressing his training really well. Uh, everybody's delighted with his progress, so that's positive as well. Ready yet? Is he ready yet? We'll wait and see, and as we said before, we're not going to set any targets for somebody that they won't reach. We said he'll be ready when he's ready. End of story. And it was fantastic for him that he's, he's progressing as well as he is, and it's great for us as well. See, transfer speculation started and possible. Surprise, eh? <laughs> it took you this long. <laughs> Talk of interest in Torres coming back. What are your thoughts on that? We don't speculate on anybody, uh, either our own players or somebody else's players. And it doesn't matter what we say, there's going to be speculation in the newspapers. So, But we won't be here to answer every question that's in newspapers. And we'll do our business. The way we've been brought up to do our business, and that's privately behind closed doors. Do you think you will be adding to the squad, though, in January? Do you need to get extra cover for, for Lucas's injury? We have the option to add if we want to. But we also have another option that we don't have to. At this stage, then, where would you say you're at in terms of the title race? Uh, I think we're sixth, aren't we? So, we said before, we'll take every game as it comes. We'll add the points up at the end of the season. Sounding repetitive, Vinny, but so is the question. So. <laughs> uh, in danger of being repetitive again, then. Um, you've spoken before about how happy you've been with, with Andy Carroll's form. At this stage now, is he... Is he in the right shape to go on a run of games, which we'll, we'll see you getting the best out of it. Vinny, you're not going to score many points for your originality with the questions, are you? We've said before, we're delighted with the efforts and they put in on and off the pitch, all of the players. So I don't see any reason why we should change that opinion because there's nothing happened that will change it. How do you assess then the challenge of, of Villa this weekend? They get a fantastic away result at Bolton at the weekend. Um, it's been difficult for Alec moving over for Birmingham to Villa, obviously. But it uh, seems to have got them going a little bit. Just at a bad time for us. But then I don't think me know too badly either. So we respect them and we we'll look forward to a difficult game. So we just go and see, see what happens. Not necessarily a bad time for you, though, given you're away from them, is it? Well, it's a bad time if they're playing better now than they were a few weeks ago. So that's the only reason. No, the other way forum has been, been really impressive. Um, they've done well. They, they never they could beat the last time away from home, but the performance was good enough to have won it. So we'll just go and do, as we said before, what we know best and how we've been taught and how we want to express ourselves. We'll take it from there. I mean, I don't think the... The stats are uh, the only stat that's known in your favour is probably the ones uh, in the goals column, which has resulted in fewer points in the, the performances of deserved. So we've got that in our own hands, and we just continue to do what we what we've done, and eventually we're going to we're going to turn our chances into goals. Yeah.